April comes from the word bloom month's name in Belarusian Krasavik, because in this month the first colors flowers appear. We hope that you have already felt the arrival of spring. Let's remember to gather the news in the field of human rights in Belarus for April 24th. This is the 10th newscast hosted by me. I am a cartoon avatar of human rights defender Nasta Loika, sentenced to seven years in prison for human rights work. Nasta has been in prison now on 600 days. For most countries with an autocratic regime, government interference in the digital space is commonplace. But who can be called digital dictators? And what are the tactics of techno-authoritarianism? The answers to these questions can be found in the material at the link below the video. One common way digital dictators use to restrict access to information is by blocking websites. If you have a website and want to protect it from blocking, pay attention to single-page application and progressive web technologies. A detailed overview of the services can be found at the link below the video. The European Union has approved the world's first law regulating artificial intelligence. What problems is this law supposed to solve? And what is a failure from a human rights perspective? You can find answers to these questions in the article on our website. The link is below the video. Let me remind you that when choosing an artificial intelligence service to work with, you need to pay attention not only to its pros and cons, but also to information about the service company and read the privacy policy. Digital transformation for non-governmental organizations is essential in today's world. This is not only an opportunity to improve work efficiency, but also make it more open and understandable, build deeper relationships with your audience. As a result of the joint work of researchers and activists from Belarus, a guide to action on digital transformation was created. It is already available via the link below the video. If you want to talk to your parents about digital security, but don't know where to start, watch Cyber Beaver's cartoon Digital Security in Turbulent Times using the example of cucumbers rolls. The Cyber Beaver will talk about complex things simply. Since 2017, the human constant of public reception has been operating on issues of protecting the rights of foreign citizens and stateless people. In 2023, 219 foreigners from 43 countries received legal assistance. The largest number of applications came from citizens of Syria, Russia, Ukraine and Yemen. Most of the requests concerned obtaining international protection in Belarus and receiving humanitarian assistance. From March 2024, citizens of Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Russia who have concluded an employment or civil law contract can obtain a temporary residence permit in Belarus. If you know someone who needs legal help, please make a note of our receptionist contact details. As of March 2024, human rights defenders of the Human Constant organization recorded at least 89 convictions in Belarus after the 2020 elections under Article 361 of the Criminal Code. The application of this article is unlawful from the point of view of international law and the boundaries of the concept of national security are blurred. The state can restrict rights if it demonstrates that the restrictions are legal, pursue a legitimate goal, are necessary and proportionate in a democratic society. Thank you for spending this time with me. We always look forward to your reactions, likes, comments, suggestions and criticism. See you next month. Bye bye. <laughs>